Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new. Today we are continuing our legacy challenge. Very exciting day. Sarah is finally a teen, so we get to explore her life a little bit more. Super stoked about that. Um, I also want to focus on Evangeline a little bit. I am placed the sim. I told you guys this before, but I did a bachelorette challenge for Valentine's Day on my Twitch channel, and it was a bachelorette challenge with Evangeline because I wanted to find her a partner, but she really liked, so. I had the community make me a bunch of sims, upload them to the gallery, and then, yeah, we did the bachelorette challenge. It was really, really fun, and Evangeline chose someone. So I'm going to put that sim in the game, and then we will go on a date with him, get to know him a little bit, see if they have the same spark <laughs> in this same file as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully they can um, end up moving out together. So glad you guys are enjoying everything. In the last video, I didn't even realize it was the 80th episode of this challenge, which is so insane. Um, but I just wanted to like formally thank you guys for supporting this ch challenge for this long. Uh, we are really getting up there. We are on Gen 7 now, I believe. Let me see. Sav, Max, Olive, Charlie, Zoe, no, Zoe. Edison, Sarah, yeah, just Sarah's Gen 7. So after Sarah's Gen, we've only got three more. I can't even believe it. I've been doing this challenge for as long as I can remember. So just the thought of it ending is honestly really weird and surreal, but yeah, we got to finish it eventually. So we're, we're really trucking through. But again, thank you guys for the support. Thank you for always watching. I love you so much. Uh, let's just get into it, shall we? All right, guys, here we are back in the compost household. Um, I am eventually going to change Sarah's nickname back to compost. I saw a comment on the last video like, oh, when did you change their last name? And I just haven't changed it back yet. Nichols is Teddy's last name. Tony, Teddy, sorry, Teddy's last name. So Sarah got that instead of Campos for some reason, but I will change it. Um, thank you guys for watching my cast video, by the way, where we gave Sarah's friends um, all makeovers and cast. We had a look at their traits, had a look at their family and all that stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I didn't want to film this legacy video with Sarah's friends walking around looking crazy. So <laughs> made sure they didn't have any crazy CC as well. Um, but yeah, this is uh, these are the Sims that are in the club right now. Aubrey, Avery, who is family, Crystal, Jordan, and Dandre. Um, we're going to be adding some more once we unlock those slots. But yeah, so Sarah aged up with uh, the dance machine trait, which means she likes to go out, party, dance all the time. Uh, very similar to party animal. And then she also has high self-esteem socially gifted, pack animal. These sims love improving themselves and others together. They have faster relationship and skill gain when training with friends. I don't really know what training with friends means, but if they're like skill building with friends, I assume it just goes up faster. Happy infant, incredibly friendly, relatable. Uh, yeah, she's just like a really well-liked person, but I don't know if this drama llama aspiration is gonna ruin that. <laughs> so for the first branch, she has to gossip five times, spread a rumor, and mess around in the cuddle cards. Yeah, and then one of you guys mentioned that you don't really see Edison as being a player, so we should do the soulmate aspiration for him next, which I'm so down for. I just wanted your guys' opinion before we chose something. So yeah, let's do soulmate for ya. Have a boyfriend or girlfriend is still checked because we are technically still with Teddy. She hasn't contacted us or spoken to us at all, so I'm probably gonna break it off for good. So, yeah. Here is Sarah right here, all aged up. She is seriously gorgeous, like insanely gorgeous. Like, do I dare say prettier than Ren and Ren knows it with that face? I don't know. They're very similar though. <laughs> all right. Um, I also wanted to show you guys that I redid Sarah's room just so that she has a nice place to hang out. I took her country style into consideration. So yeah, her room is just very like, I don't want to say cottage core. It's very like southern core, country core, sweet tea core. I don't know what you would call it, but <laughs> I like it. It's cute. So yeah, that's all the updates I have for y'all. 
Um, I do want to get her a horse in this episode as well. I added a little barn over here where the horse can reside and sleep. A little feeding feeder, uh, some water, and I moved the treehouse over here. I don't know what we are going to be able to do with the treehouse now. Maybe teens can still hang out in it. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, that is everything. That's all the changes that I did. Um, for her club, I want to put some activities here. I want to do like drink bar drinks. It's going to be very party oriented. We could put do drugs. She could really take her partying to like a crazy level. Um, but I'll let you guys decide about that social but with drama like we can put be romantic on there we could put is there no like dancing is it hobbies art and music dance let's dance let's dance yeah i don't know maybe maybe that's that's good drink bar drinks be romantic and dance <laughs> uh yeah all right well, it is Friday, and I don't think we have school. Oh, it looks like we do have school. So maybe we should go with her and work on that aspiration a little bit. Let's make sure to do our homework as well. Ren is level nine of her career. Let me turn the game down a little bit. I know it was a little loud last time. Oh yeah, we should also get Social Bunny and add all of our friends onto there. All right, there we go. Got all of her teen friends on here. She's got a ton of friends already, which is really nice. Lots of people that we can go out and party with. Ooh, it's love day today too. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that as soon as I logged into the game, it told me that Zochil got married. So, yeah, she got married to someone named Emmanuel Bear. So, I guess we uh, slept on her for too long. She was like, I am an adult. I need to get married and get on with my life. So she's out of the question now. I have no idea who we're gonna go spend love day with. And then also Bellamy is having another child. I literally cannot believe how many kids that man has. I'm actually kind of curious cause like, Holy cannoli. Okay, I guess it's not that many. He's got five kids. He's got four kids with Manami and one kid with his new wife, Addison. Bailey also has five kids. They're both just popping them out left and right. He's got three kids with one baby mama and then two kids with his wife, uh, Sienna. Leslie's got three. Marnie has three. And then she married someone with two. Ophelia has three. Rothio doesn't have any. Uh, yeah, wow, crazy. They're all popping out kids, I guess. But Bellamy just seems to be having kids all the time. I always get the pop up. So let's see how well this disco nap thing works. You get this when you are a uh, dance machine. So let's see how well their <laughs> energy goes up with that. She's got school in an hour, so I think she has to go. I'm not sure. It's always like hit or miss when they age up. Seems to be going up pretty good. Ren, you will be definitely going to work today. Yeah, I mean, that's... Is her fun going up as well? Okay, we're gonna join her today. Let's see what mischief we can get into with, in school. It's really nice just having one kid because you can put all of your effort and focus into them. And I feel like you can just do more and just be more involved in their life. You know what I mean? When there's more than one kid, it just gets chaotic and very hard to keep track of. Okay, we are here. She's quite hungry, so let's just get her to go get some food first. Kind of annoying that there's no <laughs> breakfast food in the mornings, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. I also would really like to replace the high school. Batanabe. Thank you. Who's this? Tetsuya, what's up? Let's just introduce ourselves. You sat right next to him. Kind of seems like you want to get to know him a bit. Oh. Okay. You're very pleased with yourself, I see. 
What's up, dude? <laughs> I need to gossip, so I'm gonna gossip with you. And just like that, we're good friends. <laughs> Alright, she's heading to class. It looks like we need to uh, talk to the principal. Oh my god, it's the exam today. Help. I hate starting starting school on exam days. Be friendly with a faculty member. That's easy. We'll just do a friendly introduction. Emery Yamaguchi. Yeah. He's cute. Oh. I like his vibe. Pristine reputation as well. Crazy. Sharuna's the niece. Amki has. We can drop out of high school. Oh, oh my goodness. Grow up in Dola, ah. uh -huh. Oh my gosh, Emery wants to go to prom with Sarah's friends. He's really cute. We should go. I'm so down. That, uh, now we don't have to, like, make a prom proposal sign. <laughs> oh god, who died? Sebastian. Damn, he was in our club. Exams are over. Mmm. Sarah had a rough day. She might want to study harder. Okay. Alright, well, that girl just insulted us, so Kaylee... I don't want to talk to you anymore. But, let's go home. It's love day, and it's also prom. Crap, I don't know which one I should focus on. Oh my gosh. Well, Edison doesn't really have anyone that he's, like, talking to right now. Or has romance with, so maybe we shouldn't celebrate Love Day. Maybe we should just focus on prom. I was gonna go out with Zochil, but she got married. Crazy timing. You know how we get those pop ups for the pre prom like hangout? I wish that we could host a pre prom hangout. That would be dope. Um, yeah. I would love that. Because we can make it really cool, because the pre-prom hangouts are always really lame. Maybe we can just, like, pre-game with our club friends? Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we change her? Let's see, what do you have for your formal wear again? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, this is actually really cute. Honestly, she's, like, ready for prom already. Let's, um, let's travel to a bar and start a club gathering and just, like, have drinks with everyone before prom. Seems like something she would do. Let's go to the Oak Barrel in Chestnut Ridge. I'm gonna bring all of our friends. Oh my gosh, yes. And then after prom, you usually go to the pier so we can like mess around on the cuddle cards, like check that off our list. I hope that it's an option. All right, we're gonna start a gathering. And then I think if we claim to be prom royalty, I think that, like, we might win the vote if we do that. Oh god, oh god, Jordan's a vampire. Oh god, okay, I think I, I need to send him home. I totally forgot. Go home, boy. Alright, we need to gossip a couple more times. Let's see what her favorite drink is. Oh my god, I totally forgot. Promise tomorrow. Wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, um, wow. Alright. Let's go home. I'm so stupid. Okay, well, we'll try this again tomorrow. It looks like her favorite drink, though, is beer. An IPA. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? All right, well, since we're not gonna be doing anything with Sarah tonight, I think that we should, uh... Oh, Edison's feeling very sad about Sebastian's passing. Let's see, is there anyone that you think is cute? Unattractive. 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 Bro, come on. Basic. Basic and bad compatibility. Basic but amazing compatibility. Cringe, genius, and slob. Oh my god. Help. Unattractive. Basic. Unattractive. Married. Basic. 
cousin, unattractive, basic, unattractive, 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 married, married, bad compatibility. Holy crap. There's not a single sim in his relationship panel that he thinks is cute or has good compatibility with. Maybe we should go on a blind date. I have the sim to dating app installed. All right, we're gonna do a blind date. Okay, I don't recognize her, but let us go to a restaurant. So sit down, get to know her a little bit. Uh the Odessa restaurant. We've got Nobu. Let's check this one out. It looks small. Might run better. Okay, she rocked up in a gown. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I guess we should put on our fancy smancy clothes. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go for the polite introduction. And then let's scope and see if you actually find her attractive. Nice to meet you. I'm Edison. Geek, lactose intolerant, and glutton. Alright, uh, he does not think she's attractive. There is no heart above her head. Uh, he thinks she's unattractive. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this date anyways. Just spend some time with someone on this holiday. I can't believe how picky he is. It's honestly insane. Oh, what happened? You were in a gown and now you're not. There, that's better. Well, let's have a look at her. I mean, she's pretty. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know why he's so freaking picky. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and get, let's get apple teenies for both of them. And then for dinner, we got all this experimental food. Let's get volcano pasta for Edison and the sizzle brisket for her. All right, well, talk to her. I mean, he's looking at her like in a nice way. Um, deep conversation. Ooh, uh, Yanabi, your blick on chibi gurgadon. Huh? Squarble tarbahe farbina. Hey, Finn. Orbitar. Dibble is varspa. It's not. He's got some flowers in her inventory, so he could totally give her flowers. Varga. Farb. Ooh, web for Rhoda. Oh, flame zoom. Oh my god, they're just having a good time together. Joke about fashion. Get off your phone, that's so rude! It's so fun to be around. Oh, wasn't that sweet? Thank you so much for our food! I want an apple teeny now. That sounds so delicious. Why is this date at a restaurant going so smoothly? That's kind of sus. And look, we're working on our experimental food photos. Oh, she's a glutton, so she's literally shoving it in her mouth. You gotta love it. Debate possibility of food coma? Oh my goodness. Well... We should like give her a love day gift. Uh, let's just give her a flower. So it's marked off of our list. It's not a romantic gift, it's just a friendly gift, so I don't think it'll... Let's give her an orchid. She's dressed like one. They get along really well. Not the same, the synchronization. Thank you for spending your love day with me. It was really nice to meet you. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Oh, give it to her. What happened? Happy love day. Dude. Another death? Uh, well, end meal, pay bills, go home. It was really nice to meet you. Hope you have a nice life, but uh Lamina Galpa Watini. That's gonna be it for me. Kick soccer ball. What the let's just scope the surroundings at the restaurant real quick before we leave. There could be someone here that he finds cute. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, he thought the waitress was attractive. Really? This is an elder, my boy. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, he definitely finds most people very unattractive. How interesting is that? She's like, I'm working right now. I'm sorry. I can't really uh, talk. Honestly, that's so fair. I'll see you around. I wonder if uh, the Sims view him as like Willow Creek's most eligible bachelor. Handsome, rich, like very well liked. I just can't believe how picky he is. It's honestly crazy. All right. Home sweet home. How was your date? Ah, another failure. I'm not surprised. What's Sarah doing? What you watching? Comedy yeah, yeah. and Negroni. Spagliato. Prosecco in it. I actually tried that drink and it's freaking delicious. She was not kidding about it. She looks pissed. What do we gotta do for this? Uh, gossip five times. I wish there, were, there was a way we could gossip on the phone. It's always nice seeing you, Sari. Never fail to put a smile on my face. Cute. Post about preparing for a prom. Energized narrative. Listen to tween pop. You would. Oh. All right, Ren. When are you going to get promoted? Probably the next time you go into work, which is on Tuesday. Oh my god, you got so many days off. And Evangeline, how are you doing? What is wrong? Something stinks around here. Also, it's Founder Day, so everyone has to come over to the graveyard and mourn their person uh, of their choice. I'm gonna get Ren to mourn Zoe. So, it is Saturday morning. Let's get Edison, uh, actually, let's get the whole family to go over to Chestnut Ridge and get that horse that we've been talking about forever. Uh, we gotta go to Duke's Hall. Let's just bring everyone. Sarah, Evangeline, Ren. I would love to rescue a horse, but nine times out of 10, well, 10 times out of 10, they have really, really difficult traits. And when you just buy a fresh horse, they have like decent traits. I think that for her first horse, because we might get more than one, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna buy um, a baby. And then we can probably rescue one later if she really enjoys having the horse. All right, let's get Sarah to get it. This is technically Edison's gift to her. So, there are so many options. Um, so the babies that are in here right now, we've got needy, intelligent, and energetic, aggressive, free spirit, and mellow. Uh, free spirit, energetic, and aggressive, and mellow, intelligent, and defiant. This gray horse is actually really gorgeous and unique. So is this one, this light brown one. We'll probably end up changing the name. Let's do Pancake. I think that Pancake has the best traits the raging werewolf eva fails someone died that rocky knows that's why he's that he's so sad i think it might have been another like one of his siblings or something because yeah all right uh we're gonna change the last name to compost and we're gonna name it she's creative and a dance machine maybe she would name it after an artist or a dancer Hmm, these randomized names are so insane. Pegasus? I don't know, I'm just gonna pick a random one for now. You guys are gonna have to leave me comments. Yeah, let's just do, let's just do Pegasus for now and I'll probably change it after you guys leave me some comments. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think that Sarah would name her horse because I literally can't think of a thing right now. Congratulations, you have a horse. Owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. To properly care for a horse, you'll need a handful of items. Stock up from build mode through objects by room. Go to the outdoor section and animals. We got the animal feeder. We got the uh, wa water trough. Got the horse bed. Got the ball. And we got some barrels as well. Aw, look at this baby. How cute. How's it going? Let's just build the relationship a little bit. Pegasus is happy from the gentle touches he received. 
Adorable. Evangeline, who are you? What are you doing? Why are you talking to an evil sim right now? She is so stoked. All right. Horse acquired. Let's head home. Ooh, actually, hang on a second. There are a couple places that we can look for stuff here. We might as well do that while we're here. Work on them collections a little bit. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Looks like we didn't find anything new. So sick. All right. We didn't find anything <laughs> worth worth talking about. So next order of business, I say that we invite over the sim from the Bachelorette Challenge and have Evangeline get to know him in this save file. Um, I think it would be kind of cool if like we included that in the story like she actually went on the bachelorette challenge because she really wanted to find love so she should already have like a relationship with the guy if what is this grungy from low hygiene okay yeah we definitely got to take care of that first but let me just go to the mailbox and summon the sim all right there he is he's a red-headed man uh his name is Jamie Frazier. I'm sure some of you guys will recognize him, but the community member that made him uh, was heavily inspired by this person. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just get Evangeline to get to know him a little bit. I just really want her to be happy, and it's honestly really, really freaking hard. She's a handful. She's pretty happy right now, but... Nine times out of ten. Hello! How are you? See, they get along. They still do. Lamina <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you can just tell when sims get along, you know what I mean? You can just tell. And they absolutely do get along. Oh, quapo! No beam! Ifla! Evangelize vegetarian benefits. Evangeline evangelizes vegetarian benefits. Nice. Oh. Not Sarah giving him the side eye. Draw boy is Zar. Oh, no. Hey, Tuga. Hey, Tuga. Who? <laughs> They're doing all this autonomously, by the way. They love each other. It's very clear. Oh. <laughs> Love that for oh, you, Evangeline. <laughs> See my boyfriend, yeah? Let's, let's, let's just nail this down. Let's tie it down. Look at this little emote. Totally digging me. This could be the... Are you for real, Rocky? Can't you see we're in the middle of something sentimental and you're just gonna come and shit all over it? Literally? Crazy. All right. They lost it down. I'm gonna have her talk about marriage because I'm like feeling a little, a little frisky. I want to see what he says. Normally Sims are very turned off by it, but I'm genuinely curious if he's like that into us. Oh, she completed her oh. New Year's resolution as well. Oh. Good for you, babes. Oh my God, he was into it. He took it. Torkanu. Naya floof. Oh. Dang, he's really I'm into playing. us. That's great. All right, she's almost That's maxed video gaming and comedy, oh, and those were the skills that I really wanted yeah. to max before she moves out. Russia. So why don't you come on over here and play some video games and get that skill up? Oh shoot, it's prom right now. We didn't even get to pre-game. Oh well, I guess we're going anyways. I really hope claiming to be prom royalty actually did something. I know that you can like add people to your family, have them vote for you, and then remove them from the family, but 
I don't want to do it this time. I want to see if it works on its own. All right, it looks like my date is right here. So, talk about latest party. They have a little bit of romance as well, which should be good for messing around on the carts. I'm gonna vote for Emery as prom jester. If we get royalty and Emery gets jester, how cute would that be? Let's take a romantic photo in the booth with our date. I really like his hair. I like his pink money pieces. Oh my goodness. All right, let's have a look at it. I think I could put it up on the wall here. Okay, cute. I love it. We're putting that up in her room. A hundred percent. I want to vote for myself as prom royalty, but I can't. All right, let's see who wins. Whoa, who's that? Dusty Do. Not Dusty Do. Let's introduce ourselves. Vaughn McQueen. Wow. Definitely gonna introduce ourselves to you as well. All right. Oh my god. It worked. It worked. <gasps> we got prom royalty just by claiming to be prom royalty to people. I cannot even believe it. But our date did not win. Leonardo won. I can't. That's amazing. I'm so stoked right now. Yes, girl. Yes. Yes! Oh my god, she's so pretty. So, this is the one who won Jester. Alright, let's go show off our crown to our date. So, what do you think? What do you think? Do you like my crown? <laughs> You should see me in a crown. Prom unsuccessful? I beg to differ. We won prom royalty. I would say that's extremely successful. All right, we're gonna go to the cuddle carts. We absolutely are with our date. We gotta do it for our aspirations, so this is the perfect time. All right, is everyone gonna be stoked over us? <laughs> oh man, we should totally take a selfie. Wetzel, Yibs. <laughs> oh, Shanoi. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh my god, the girl in the back. I can't. Ooh. Aw, so pretty. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so. First things first, we're gonna romantic ride. How do we mess around? It's not an option. Do I need to kiss him first? Is that why? Dude, what is what is with it? Oh my god, we have a crush on him. Boo shark! Boo shark, boo shark. Where are you going? Ride tunnel of love. Okay. Yes, do it. Do I have to click on it while- oh, keep flirting. Alright, Sarah has a major crush on him. How do we mess around in it though? How do you do it? Travel to the pier, click on the cuddle cart, select me mess around interaction. Hmm, I think we might need to kiss first. She's about to have her first kiss on prom night after winning prom queen. Look at her go. Gown in Ho ho ho! Oh yeah. Uh huh. Where's first kiss? There it is. Oh my God, cute. Adorable! I think it might be. It's still not an option. Why not? Oh, we can mess around on the on the Ferris wheel. 
Okay, but that's not what we need to do for our Asper. Oh, there it is. All right, I guess we'll do both. Imagine messing around on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> as much as Sarah wants to enjoy the ride, time- The rocking motion is beginning to give her butterflies in her stomach for all the wrong reasons. Does she push forward and pretend nothing is wrong or take a break and try to settle her stomach? Um, take a break? Oh my god. He used a condom. They are literally woohooing in the Ferris wheel. Holy cannoli. Wow. We gotta do it in the cuddle carts too. Who's calling it? Oh my god, they got fireworks. They got freaking fireworks. Wow, everything is going her way, isn't it? Day. All right, I think it's time to go home. That was very successful. Prom royalty, first kiss, first mess around. Oh, eventually reach level 10 gaming. Let's go while we were gone. Good for you, girl. Good for you. I do want to have a look at Emery in Cass. He kind of just like asked us to prom randomly at school and I haven't even got a proper look at him. All right, GG Evangeline with your gaming. Good for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at him in cast real quick. For some reason, I can't see his traits or his family. I don't really know what's going on with that, but uh, he's really handsome, guys. He really is. All right, I just gave him this quick little makeover. Nothing crazy. I kind of want to give him earrings. I like it. I like it a lot. Can't see his traits though. I don't understand why. I don't even think we've learned any of them. But she likes him a lot. She's got a major crush on him. And Emery is such a cute name. Alright. Well, let's... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I totally forgot I had teen pregnancy on and mess around was actually woohooing. I totally forgot I had teen pregnancy on. It says he used a condom, but my risky woohoo is on. Please don't be, please don't be, please don't be, please don't be. You literally just ate. Rocky just staged up, and Sarah is pregnant. She doesn't want a child right now either. Pregnancy freak out. Pregnant. It's Sarah now. How young she still is. That's what I was saying. How little she wants anything major and life-changing happening at this point in time. How little she feels ready to handle such a thing. Impossible not to freak out. What will her parents say? Her friends, the father of the child. Oh my god. She's having twins as well. I messed up. I messed up. I had them mess around multiple times too. Gosh darn it guys. I did not mean for that to happen. I was just doing what the aspiration said. Uh, okay. All right. I need your help. I need your guys' help. Should we... Should we get an abortion? Should we put the babies up for adoption, or should we keep them? I honestly, I don't think that we should keep them, but I wanna know what you guys think, cause we have so much to do with Sarah still. I still wanna enter horse riding competitions. She's still got most of her teen aspiration. She literally just aged up like a couple days ago in sim time. Well, I'm gonna leave it right here so that I can get your guys' opinions on what we should do next. That was an ending that I was not expecting. <laughs> uh, 
risky woohoo. I think I might need to turn down the percentage a little bit. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave me comments. Let me know your opinions and I will take them into consideration 100% before I do anything drastic. Because <sighs> I know with the Woohoo Wellness mod, you can have an abortion and you can put your babies up for adoption. There are a lot of things that you can do. So let me know what you think. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!